Got close to it, but he has left it. And an early chance for Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. A little bit of noise coming from the other table. A little bit of fun and games going on there, but that's what you've got to blank out at the Crucible. Yes, big test of concentration. Just looking at Ronnie, I thought that cue ball might have slipped too far, but he's okay. Just. And Nine. He'd love to win this frame now in one visit, but I don't think he's played that as well as he could have done. He wanted to run through for a red into the opposite pocket, having to settle for the red to the middle. Mid-session interval after this. I'm not saying Ronnie would be happy to go in at 10 each. He, he probably wouldn't be happy, but that's the best he can get out of this morning so far. Having missed the opportunities in the last frame. Well, he was 4-3 down at the end of the first session, and he replied with a break of 93. 25. Yeah, he's really lived for Ronnie, isn't he? You know, all of a sudden his, his head can drop and then you put his back against the wall and, and, and he just can produce. It's like something just flicks a switch on. <laughs> but uh, it's a big frame, this now, very important. Well, look how he's off of the reds. And this will be his fifth black. He has pushed one red onto a cushion. He won't be thinking about a maximum just yet. He needs to win Four. the frame. That's the first priority. 41. But he will have it in the back of his mind where the balls are. There's only one red safe. Just that cannon nicely. Well, I say nicely, can he run through on this red and play for the black again? 48. But as you say, Dennis, he's really more concerned about the frame. Although there's probably 49. two players playing the game now who would think about maximum in this pressure situation. That would be Ronnie or Stephen Hendry. Fifty-six. Just overrun, just a fraction. This wasn't the red he wanted to be on. But in it goes. Well, I said it would be interesting to see how Ronnie O'Sullivan would respond. He'll forget about the maximum break now. Sixty-four. He'll take the red in the middle pocket and play for the blue. As I say, first priority, make sure you get back on level terms. <laughs> Having said that, he's got a tremendous shot. So we know what he's got on his mind. He's made nine in tournament play. This red to clinch the frame. And now he can concentrate on that maximum. What a reply from the defending champion. Back up against the wall. He's responded in true championship style. Eighty. Well, I have been very fortunate to 81. commentate on the three fastest maximum breaks ever made on television, all made by Ronnie O'Sullivan. Surely, he can't do it again. 88. Eighty-nine. I think even Mark Allen and I would like to see Ronnie make a maximum. The frame's gone, so... 
Doesn't really matter. Thirty-six. I'm not certain about the availability, Ronnie. Just having a look, it probably passes the yellow, the red up in, near the bulk end. Like a seven. So we play for the red now. That's in the bulk end. He's checked to see it passes the yellow. A lot will depend on the potting angle. 104. And he's getting down pretty quickly, so he just feels he can screw past the blue. 105. Now then, what a shot this would be. Left-handed to clip the red out and pop the black. the question and that's what he come up with a chance of a maximum break but the most important thing he takes the